Hey guys, welcome back to Supernatural Sunday. Today I'm here to watch Season 6, Episode 8. Last episode, we finally got some answers. We learned that the reason Sam's been acting off all season is because when he was brought back from hell, he was brought back without a soul. And since the first episode of the season, we know that Samuel has been hiding something. And when all the hunters went after the alpha vamp, Dean learned that Samuel has been capturing these creatures, like the alpha vamp and then also the djinn, to torture them for information, specifically to get the location of purgatory. Now, why would Samuel be interested in that? Well, he's not, but someone else is, and that is the same individual who brought back Sam and Samuel, Crowley king of hell. He said that he wants purgatory for his expansion. Is that the full truth? Maybe he has something else going on. No and Crowley? Probably. So it seems like for now the boys are gonna have to work for Crowley because Sam still does not have a soul. So we'll see how that goes. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I react to Supernatural every Sunday. Now it's time to watch season 6 episode 8 which is called all dogs go to heaven. Also guys, when is Balthazar coming back? We got introduced to him in episode three and we haven't seen him since. Skip recap, skip recap. Be home soon. I don't think so, I think you're gonna die. Hmm. Dogs, hellhounds? God damn. Uh, is he not in this episode? Oh, hi! <laughs> you can take a job and shove it up your ass. Is that any way to talk to your boss? You're not my boss, dickbag. Dane, Dane, been through this. Oh, damn! You don't really have a choice now. like pain, Sam? You like hell? Oh my god. Chest ripped open. Sounds like werewolf. werewolf. No, it's not a full moon. Yeah, but werewolf things have been weird. Of, things have been out of whack for a while now, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad we're going back to this. So it's settled then. See you soon, boys. <laughs> what am I doing? Crowley. It's so far up our asses. We're, we're, we're I mean, so what can you like, do, you're, Dean? You're just gonna work the case? But Dean, I am still me. Just without a same soul. Melon, same memories. I, I still like the same music. And I can't take back what I did. But I'm going to prove it to you. I'm still your brother. What are the feds doing here? Oh, we're specialists. And they call us in to answer the questions of mouth-breathing dick monkeys. <laughs> you do realize these were animal attacks? An animal out here. Yeah. Well, you think it came for the sailing? <laughs> what was that transition? He didn't sleep. He hasn't slept in a year. Because you don't yeah. sleep. Oh, the lighting. Wherever they hate, they kill when they wolf out. So, I've been playing connect the victims. You found a connection? And, I think I found a common denominator. I think there might be kids here. Like, this seems like a family house. Help you? Is Cal Garrett getting at home? I've got a few questions we'd like to ask him. Yeah, um, come in. She looks kind of familiar. I bet she's the werewolf. Doggy. Cal. Huh? Lucky. Hmm. Just, uh, you know, a couple of beers with friends? No, he's Please. too obvious. So what you're saying is you got blind drunk, you blacked out. Something tells me this isn't the first time. So, Cal, truthfully, who knows what you've really been up to Oh. Tonight? Yeah, I thought that was some kind of animal attack. No love lost between the two of you, huh? Yeah, there's like no emotion we here. differences? Well, you two are pretty far behind in your rent. Mm. He had sent eviction papers? <sighs> I'm sorry, that was an animal attack. Fun enough. Yeah, three scuzzy bars, one scuzzy strip club, a chili dog joint, seven or eight nightcaps, oh my and now goodness. scotches in the library. Sam would be the perfect stakeout partner because he doesn't That's need something. to sleep, so he'd just watch. This guy's still on two legs. Yo, what if he dies next? Oh, it was the dog. Lucky. Lucky. When we first saw Lucky, I was like, hmm, that's definitely going to be important. Whoa. I thought he would just stay a dog, though. I wasn't expecting- okay. 
Mm -mm. It's like we're back in the Twilight episode. Oh, so cute though. Lucky you smell like death. Yo, yo, Lucky. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's not cow. <laughs> Masterful deduction, Sherlock. Thanks, Watson. If you know this means that we're down to one suspect, right? Mandy. I know. What am I interrupting the morning show? Come on, let's go for a walk. Oh, is she gonna see Cal's death on the TV? Oh! Nobody called you? Call me about what? You think I have something to do with this? With Cal? Of course not. Just got a few questions, uh, eyes and T's mostly. Uh oh. What, I'm sorry, you said your boy was up all night? Uh, yeah. Were you with him all night? Yeah. Did I talk to your son? Why? Yeah. What difference does that question hold? Trust me. You heard the kid, dude. She's not lying. Fine. She still had time to wolf out, Dean. Last werewolf was in bed with me. And she wolfed out. Don't make this personal. I'll come back and keep an eye on Amanda. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about you go? And yeah. Go. Dean, I still know how to do my job. Do you? I don't trust you, huh? Sam. No, I don't. That's creepy. Sam. <gasps> oh. He's gonna see Lucky. Whoa! <laughs> That jump scared me. Ah. Mm. Stop. Bro. Ooh, nice. Let's go. Sam, don't stop. Oh. oh, put the gun away, put the gun away. Did you get the license plate at least? Hey, it's me. This is so random. I just thought it was funny when Sam was like, hey, it's me. Because Sam's calling Dean's phone and there's caller ID. So yeah, Sam, of course he knows it's you. <laughs> I definitely got something. It ain't a werewolf for one. Yeah, what is it? Skinwalker. Skinwalker? They can change anywhere, anytime. Skinwalkers infect you with a single bite. Otherwise, they're basically a werewolf cousin. Silver will drop them. Ah. Uh. Are you lucky? You need to do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> what? What? Soul or not, that's fine. <laughs> Why shack up with the family? Is it a kinky thing? I mean, kind of. It's weird. That's what it is. I mean, he's definitely very infatuated with Mandy. And he wants to protect her, so he killed the landlord because otherwise he was gonna evict them. He killed Cal's brother because he shoved Mandy and killed Cal because he wants to be Cal. You like to play with your food? <laughs> Roll over, Lucky. Soul of Sam is kind of funny. Already been. Didn't agree with me. What I want Kibitzing with. Kibitzing? Is he a skinwalker too? He's not the only one. Is there like a whole army of them? Top 30, we were all, we were kind of recruited. We're out there finding families, and once they take us in, we lay low. Until? Once we're settled, we get the signal, and we all turn on our families. There's a pack leader. You're Alpha? What's an Alpha? I'm pretty sure there's guys like him in other towns. We're not the only pack out there. Jeez, what's going Jeff, on? These guys who turn me. You know what? If Crowley cares so much, he should come down here himself or up here. I don't know what you want. She's not saying, hey, come on. I mean, it's your gigantor body and, and maybe your brain, but it's not you. It was nervous, right? Yeah. I double cross this. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Thanks, Dexter. That's reassuring. I really want to watch Dexter. And there's El Jefe. Take him out. It's not clean. We got one shot at this, literally. Oh? Oh, no. She's in the way. Take it anyway. No. Whoa. Man, there's nothing I can do. The boss is pissed. 
What else is he in? That guy. That you've been doing. You didn't ask for permission. Let's go. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. That's me. Oh, my God. Shit. Poor Mandy. <gasps> no. Nice. Sam? Sam? Ooh. You and Aiden, you're the only family I ever have, and I know, I know that sounds... I don't Weird. Get away from this house, you psycho. You're just leaving your clothes on her porch like that? Really? Never look at a dog and say, you were right. I'm not your brother. I'm not Sam. You wanted the real me. This is it. I don't care about them. I don't even really care about you. Except that I need your help. I've done a lot worse than you know. Oh. I've killed innocent people in the line of duty. And maybe I should feel guilty, but I don't. I mean, I think once back. you get your soul back, you will. Let's just say I think I should probably go back to being him. It's a step. <laughs> That's it. So. So that was season six, episode eight of Supernatural. We got to see more of Soulless Sam and just see how he acts and just sort of what he's going through because he didn't really care if innocent people got hurt. He just wanted to get the job done. He's just goal oriented. We got back into talking about how weird things are happening. Like in episode one, Samuel was saying that werewolves were turning when it wasn't a full moon and at first I thought we were dealing with hellhounds because of the title and then we thought we were dealing with the werewolves but it turns out we were dealing with skinwalkers so episode five we learned that the alpha vamp was making this army this vampire army for the war and in this episode the same thing is happening like there are sleeper cells and apparently this is happening in a lot of other towns so what is this building up to like we got a vampire army getting a skinwalker army like what what is this building up to i'm really curious i want to know more i still have so many questions that i have to wait to get answered anyways that is going to be it for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video i will see you guys next time bye bye bitch